good day, my dear students. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Teacher Teen. I am a research teacher and also a science teacher. And I will be your teacher for today's video. If you are new to this channel, kung bago ko pa lang, napadaan ka dito, or ngayon mo lang nakita ako, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates. For more updates. video, I'm gonna teach you on how to join the class using Google Classroom and how to submit outputs, assignments using Google Classroom. Since it's still pandemic and we cannot go to school to conduct our lessons, kaya naman naka-work from home pa rin tayo or naka-learn from home pa rin tayo, and using Google Classroom and other platforms at Modo and others. So, yan yung gagamitin natin ngayon para maitawid ulit natin ang school year 2021-2022. And to all my students, to all my students uh, in STE, grade 7 and grade 8, and to all the students who are taking online modality, okay, I know that you are familiar with the Google Classroom, but since nagbakasyon tayo, baka may ilan sa inyo na nakakalimot na agad kung paano ba mag-submit ng outputs using our Google Classroom. Okay, so again, for today's video, I'm gonna teach you on how to join the class using the code, code given by your teacher and how you're going to submit the output, how to turn in the output so that it will be marked as submitted. Okay, e-enroll sa Google Classroom, may ibibigay na code sa inyo ang inyong mga teachers. Okay? So, importante na yung code na yun kasi yun yung i-enter nyo doon sa hinihingi na class code ng Google Classroom para ayun na nga, maka-enter kayo sa Google Classroom. So, panoorin ang video na to. Okay. First, okay, we are going to join the class. So, paano ba mag-join ng class? So, for example, nandito na kayo sa inyong Google Chrome. So, kailangan nandito tayo sa Google. And then, make sure na nakalagin yung Gmail account na gagamitin nyo for the whole uh, school year and yun na nga para dun sa Google Classroom. So, dito sa right side, meron dito mga dots. Ito yung mga Google Apps. So, hanapin lang natin is yung ating Classroom. Okay? So, click natin tong Classroom. And then, pag na-click natin yan, okay, so ito yung lalabas ng mga classroom nyo. Okay, so for example, ako, may isa akong subject tungkol sa primals. Okay, ngayon, eh, meron pa kayong isang subject na kailangan nyong i-add. Okay, for example, mag-join kayo ng class sa research. So, kaya kailangan na alam nyo yung code for that classroom. Okay, and then we have to click this plus sign and then join class. If you are the student, of course, you have to join the class. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na class code na dito nyo i-enter yung code na binigay ng teacher nyo. So, for example, ang binigay ni teacher na class code for research 1, ang, ang, aking, ang aking section ay comments. So, ito yung binigay niyang code. So, kailangan natin siyang i-copy. And then, we have to paste it this in this class code. Okay? And then, join. Makikita nyo yung icon dito sa right side, sa upper right side, na join. So, click nyo lang yan. And then, automatically, you have joined the class already. Okay? Ayan. So, itutor ko naman kayo kung ano ba yung itsura ng Google Classroom. So, sa Google Classroom, makikita nyo dito yung section nyo, yung subject and, this, and your section. It depends upon on your teacher kung anong nilagay niya dito. And then, yung stream, dito nyo makikita lahat ng announcement ni teacher. Okay? So, for example, mayroong mga assignment na binibigay sa inyo or may mga link ng mga video lessons na kailangan nyo panoorin or whatever announcement it is. So, dito nyo siya makikita sa stream. Okay? Dito sa taas, may stream, may classwork, and may people. So, again, sa stream, every announcement will be posted here. 
And then for the classwork, dito nyo naman makikita lahat ng announcements, ay no no, lahat ng assignments given by your teacher. Okay, so dahil bago pa lang yung classroom natin, so wala pang announcements teacher. Now, ano naman yung meron sa people? Okay, yung people, ito naman, makikita nyo dito yung mga classmates nyo. So, si teacher, ayan, si teacher KM, and then, meron ditong students. Yung inyong mga classmates, dito nyo siya makikita. There are different ways on how you're going to submit your output using Google Classroom. Ang kailangan nyo lang talaga ay, alam nyo kung nasaan ba nakalagay yung assignment na binigay sa'yo ni teacher, and then, i-download mo ngayon yung uh, learning task na nakakabit doon. So, later, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung screen. Okay, ngayon, so for example, nakita nyo na yung pinapagawa sa inyo ni teacher. Kung wala, uh, unang way, pwede nyo siyang iprint. I-download nyo muna, and then ipiprint. Pag naiprint nyo na ngayon si uh, yung learning task, pwede na kayo magsagot doon. And then, you take a picture of your answer. Okay, yung answer sheet nyo, pipicturean nyo, and then i-upload natin. Okay, yun yung isang way. I-download mo, ipiprint, tapos sasagutan mo doon, and then ipipicturean natin. Okay? Ngayon, ang isang way pa is i-download mo siya, and then sasagutan mo siya doon na mismo sa Google uh, Docs, kung ano man yan, and then i-upload mo rin doon. So, later ipapakita ko rin kung paano i-upload. And then, yung pangatlo, Pwede ka naman na tumingin lang, i-download mo lang sa phone mo para kahit walang internet ay na-review mo siya. Okay, so pag na-download mo na siya, so tingin ka sa cellphone mo, kung cellphone lang yung gamit mo, kung laptop, mas mainam. And then, so since nasa cellphone lang, no, yung inyong learning task, so pwede kang gumamit ngayon ng band paper, o kaya pwede ka rin gumamit ng notebook. So, para sa akin, mas okay yung notebook para hindi nawawala. Ano? So, para intact lahat ng mga sinagutan nyo. So, pwedeng handwritten, isusulat nyo dito yung sagot nyo. Okay, pwede rin naman sa intermediate pad paper. Ngayon, kapag nasagutan nyo na siya, pipicturean nyo ngayon siya. So, kapag napicturean nyo, so magkakaroon tayo ng file. So, kailangan nyo siyang isave ngayon sa inyong mga uh, device. Okay? So, ituturo ko ngayon sa inyo kung paano siya i-upload using your laptops. Now, let us have the tutorial on how you are going to submit your output. Okay? So, again, stream, makikita natin lahat ng announcement. And then, for the classwork, click nyo lang yung classwork. Makikita nyo na lahat ng learning tasks, activities, and every assignment given by your teacher. So, for example, in quarter 1, may binigay na, ayan, nakalagay dito, learning task number 1. Due September 6, meaning to say you have to submit your work until September 6. Okay, so, i-click nyo lang yan, and then, mabibuyo nyo ngayon yung assignment. Ayan. So, ito yung magiging itsura nyan. So, pwede nyo itong i-download. So, your work, ito yung pinapa-assignment ni teacher. So, i-click natin yan. And then, ito. Ito yung gagawin yung assignment, learning task number 1. Okay, for example, ayan. Ngayon, so kung meron na kayong learning task number 1, ang sabi dito ay, sasagutan nyo to. Ano? Okay. Now, paano nyo to sasagutan? Yung unang way, pwede nyo siyang i-download. So, open with. Pag in-open nyo kasi ito dito, pero I am discouraging you to use this. Kasi pag ginamit nyo to, then sinabmit nyo kay teacher, laging ang lumalabas dun is sign in or meron pang lumalabas dun na parang kailangan pa namin ng permission from you para ma-open namin. So, ang tagal. So, ang nire-recommend ko na lang na gawin nyo is may tatlong pwede kayong gawin. Una, pwede nyo siyang i-print. Okay, ipiprint nyo yung buong document na to. Pag na-print nyo, saka nyo siya sagutan doon sa print nyo. And then, you take a picture of that. Okay, uh, pipicturean nyo then, yung mismong picture, yun yung i-upload nyo mamaya. Okay, yun yung isang way. Print, sagutan, picturean. Okay, ilagay sa document muna, dito sa laptop. Then, mamaya ako ituturo sa inyo kung paano mag-upload. So, yung ikalawang bagay naman na pwede nyo gawin is, 
mag-open kayo ng panibagong file. Okay, mag-open kayo ng document. Okay, so for example, ito yung document natin. Tapos, ilalagay ninyo ay uh, learning... Okay, teka lang. Wala. Okay, so for example, learning task number one. Okay, submit it. Okay, lagay nyo na lang ng pangalan, for example. Okay, Bea Alonso. Okay. Then, ang pwede nyo gawin is, i-copy nyo na lang yung question kung ano yung dapat sagutan. Okay, and then, dito nyo ngayon siya sasagutan. So, for example, did Archimedes succeed in the experiment and discovery? So, sagutan nyo, kunwari, yes. Okay, and then, kunwari, nasagutan nyo na yan lahat. Ano? So, save natin siya. Okay, save. Then, pili ka kung saan mo siya isa-save. So, for example, ay learning task. Okay, learning task. Okay, lagyan natin ng apelyado mo. Kunwari, Alonzo, learning task number one. Save. Okay, now, kunwari, naisave nyo na sa file. Ngayon, balik tayo sa inyong learning task number one. May makikita kayo ditong add or create. So, dito nyo i-upload yung inyong mga pictures na pinicturan or yung mismong file kung saan kayo nagsagot. Okay, so for example, kung picture ang ginawa nyo, okay, file, and then browse, and then saan nyo ba sinave yung inyong picture, yung pinicturan nyo kanina? So for example, nandito, kunwari ito yung mga pinicturan nyo. Kung, il kung ilan lahat yung pinicturan nyo, ang gagawin nyo, i-upload nyo yan lahat. Okay, upload. Then, itayin nyo lang siyang mag-load. Yan. Tapos, kapag nag-load na siya, okay, you have to turn in. Pindutin nyo lang yan. So, kayon, paano kung hindi picture ma? Paano kung file? Kagaya nung ginawa po natin kanina dito sa learning test, nagawa po ako ng isang word, tapos sinave ko as file. So, ang kailangan nyo nang gawin is, ayan, i-add nyo, file, ganun din. Browse, and then, ito yung, ito yung sinave nyo kanina, di ba, na file, na nasagot nyo dun sa learning task. Open, then, hintayin nyo lang siyang ma-load dito. Yan. So, kapag nandiyan na siya, yan, pwede nyo nang pindutin yung turn in. Ibig sabihin ng turn in, may, may i-submit nyo na yan kay teacher. Kasi kapag pinabayaan nyo siya ng nakaganyan lang, hindi pa yan nagto-turn in, nandiyan lang siya. So, huwag nyo kakalimutang pindutin yung turn in. Okay, turn in. Ayan. So, turn in natin. Ayan, turn in. Ayan. O, oh, kita nyo, diba? Nakalagay na dito ay unsubmit. Pag pinindot nyo yung unsubmit, mababalik sa inyo yung sinubmit nyo. Ayan. And para ma-check kung na-turn in na, ayan, turned in. Okay? Ayan. So, ganun lang ang tamang pag-upload ng mga output sa inyong Google Classroom. Okay? So, pag binalikin nyo yan at pinak nyo, yan. Ayan. Ayan. Pag chinek nyo ulit yung ginawa nyo, so, para ma-check nyo kung ano ba, nakapag-submit pa ako, so, just check your classwork and then yung task na binigay ni teacher and then may nakalagay dyan na turned in. Okay? So, that is how you submit your output. So, I hope that you learn from this. So, kung may tanong pa, don't hesitate to ask me. Ayun, ganun lang siya kadali. So, kung meron pa kayong tanong, uh, just leave your comment down below. This is the end of our vlog about submitting your output through Google Classroom. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Malapit na ang pasokan. One week na lang. Good luck, God bless, and be cooperative enough with your teacher para mas maitawid natin ng maayos ilit ang school year nito. Bye, and see you in my class.